Dr. Marlucia Martins is an entomologist who has just returned from a three-day journey, just three days in which she has discovered for science the existence of 34 new kinds of insect species, important keys to the Amazonian puzzle. All creatures have their history. This one in particular has a special one for me. I was one of the people that discovered its existence for science. So it's kind of like a son, or perhaps like a daughter. <laughs> this particular group of flies is well known to science, the Drosophilias. Life expresses itself in different forms, and insects are part of this life form. More concretely, we can be losing control of the functioning of the system as in everything else. Because it is the whole of all the species which makes everything that exists in the Amazonia function. The grandeur of the woodlands and everything else is like an organism that works. And each group, each species, is a part of that whole. In the Mocambo jungle, the giant ants are the masters. They are the biggest in the world, and this species only lives in the heart of the Amazonia. Two centimeters long, a sting like that of the bees, their kin, and jaws as sharp as razors, the ants of the Dinaporina genus here are not the innocent little bugs they are in Europe. Of less gregarious habits, but equally as active, these insects live with their large bodies close to the ground. It is estimated that the sting of 10 of these insects can cause the death of an adult male. It doesn't quite fit in the palm of a hand, and it is only a beetle. The Titanus giganteus, 20 centimeters long, it is the largest in the world, and only one example of the 300,000 coleopterists that exist in the Amazonian system. Brazil is a big country with big surprises such as this one. The small jacaré, only six meters long, captured in the Paraguay River in April of 1991. It had already eaten a human being. It also feels at ease in the water. That is how this 100 kilogram anaconda is, a creation of this laboratory with every right to hunt for its food. Although sometimes the sukusi, as it is called here by those who fear it, does not distinguish human meat from other types of meat while it's feeding. As occurred with the one in this photograph taken in Tabatinga, where a child of 13 was found inside its stomach. The jungle floorboards creak at its passing. It is an anta. Don't be frightened. 300 kilograms of muscle for an innocent ash-colored vegetarian. With its proboscis, the taper slightly reminds us of elephants, also very large African animals. Without any enemies, except for human beings that enjoy its lean meat, the tapers peacefully camp in the forests, yielding their throne to the third largest feline in the cat universe, the jaguar, the painted onsa, as it is called here, maximum exponent of a powerful and vigorous zoology, although threatened. The Amazon felines will occupy a frame of honor in this traveler's series, where everyone has a place. There is a place here for everyone, the big and the little, powerful physiques and delicate ones. The Saguis leoncinos is one of the 86 specimens of primates that inhabit the Amazonia, demonstrating this way that nature here is not only powerful, there's also a place for the smaller animals. Just like that of King Kong, 
the heart of our Kingi Kongi, our minute star, also belongs to someone. Rosanna is an expert and defender of our closest relatives in the animal kingdom. She's their friend, a great expert in primates. She reluctantly keeps this Amazonic gem in her house, a gem that lost its shine the day it was kidnapped by a mafia of traders of free fauna. Kingi Kongi cannot go back to living in nature. It wouldn't survive. And now its existence depends on Rosanna and her refrigerator. If it weren't for its long tail, this monkey would be smaller than a computer mouse. It's safe now, inside the home of the zoologist. But many are the saguis leoncinos that are captured every year to become a pet. And that has put them on the edge of extinction. Many people prefer seeing them perform their antics on a plastic tree instead of their natural jungle home, living room nature. A grotesque and ridiculous Amazonia. Of the 140 million people who inhabit Brazil, 20 are in the water. 20 are Argonauts and good swimmers. Five million square kilometers for the people of the water. Look closely. Without television nor video games, this group of riverside children get great enjoyment out of the river. There is not just fun in their movements, there's also technique, a knowledge acquired through their elders. Nothing is virtual here. Happiness is something that can be touched. A canoe full of water can weigh approximately 1,000 kilos. Emptying it is more a matter of skill than strength. And skill is an essential heritage that belongs to the children of the river. The Amazon is a humanized river. And this series is not going to ignore that. We are interested in its natural resources its problems, and above all, its people. The Amazon planet is full of kind and sociable natures. The pulleys of this shipyard in Manaus have been moving for 110 years. They get their strength from the river and return it modified and fertile. Propellers for boats are made here. As in the painting La Fragua, energy is not destroyed by blows of mallets and sledgehammers, but rather it is transformed. Big ships and little boats caulk their hulls injured in a thousand fluvial battles or renew their propellers in this factory of miles and melancholy. The small boat is ready and leaves the dry dock, pushed by a stronger motor and a new propeller. The navigators are serious. If something breaks during the maneuvering, their lives will be distorted. They not only travel in this boat, they also live here, and they return serene to the river that carries them. thousand kilometers of navigable rivers in this Amazonia that captivates us are reasons enough for thousands of boats to move here and there each day. Of the 113 trillion square meters of disposable water for terrestrial use, 16 trillion are reserved by nature for the men and women of Amazonian Brazil a gift that cannot be wasted. 
15% of the world's fresh water.